Still not dead. Early access update four. This is Greg Sargent, Glove Games, game developer. I'm just gonna do a run because I haven't recorded one yet. Okay. Oh, uh, Formless Voyage has just done a new track for the game. It should be coming uh, next update. Hmm. This is an absolutely brilliant one to get stage one. Just need to drop the volume. I can't hear the volume that much. Uh. So if I get attacked by enemies that I can't see, that's because I can't hear their alert indicator. Oh, I just added this in the latest update. You turn that off and it gives you more than 60 frames per second. I should be getting like, I don't know, 150 or something. If you pause the game, it's a nice way to cheat, and you can just look at the minimap and, and work out your tactics without wasting time. Uh, I need 300 for that gun. Careful growth. Alright, screw it, I'm just going to be going straight for the health pickups because I want to boost my health. If you don't want to get attacked, you should probably stay... Oh wait. Stay around, you know, the architecture, because it stops enemies from seeing you. Do 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 do. I am shit at playing games and talking at the same time. So if this video is not good, then that'll be why. I'm gonna play a very slow and careful game here because I want to get these health pickups without getting hurt. Yep, yep. There we go. This is a good start. Go away, please. Oh my, that's not what we wanted. Doesn't matter, because there's two health pickups. I've got crystals. Oh lord, this is just embarrassing. Alright. So, I'm going to go back the way that I came. Because I've killed everything. Go away. No. Money. If it's halfway through the floor, that's just a bug that I've got to fix with the hedge made by him, which also needs improvements because it looks a bit crap. 80 health, that's not the biggest deal because I've buffed the food. People were complaining that I didn't heal enough, so I've you know, not made it easier for you. I see you, uh, I see you behind me. Um. I think carrot used to be the best one, but now it's apple. Ooh la la. What? Oh, I'm a horrible developer. Oh, the apple's over there. That heals us with 30. The reason that's not working is because the pickups are halfway through the floor. Again, I need to fix that. It should be an easy fix. I'll, I'll be doing the next update. Yes! What? Oh, okay, I wasn't full health. That sucks. Well, we got 10 HP this round. We lost all our ammo. I actually recorded a run before this. Uh, Molotov. It's not great. I'm gonna try. Sure. Ammo. Yeah, I, I recorded a run. Like. Oh yeah. Have some of that, Jim Sterling. I can fit through the hedges. Yeah, I recorded a run before this and it was absolutely terrible because, like I said, I suck at playing the damn game and talking over it. So I don't, I don't usually do this. Sweet. Wait. That's a lot of money. I don't want it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Someone called that the murder skull, which I liked. This is by far the easiest one to get, because I, I barely even use the crosshair anyway. Unless you've got a really accurate weapon like the rifle or something. That sucks. That can be useful. Uh, I could do with some money. We do have a lot of HP, so I'm going to roll for something better. Wow, that's gone wrong. That's pretty bad now that you've, there's a kill limit to reach. Alright, let's go down the above and just cross our fingers. That is not good, but it's not the worst thing that can happen. Um... I want health and money and this gun. I'm gonna get this item first though. 
because I'm not going to be coming back this way. Nope. Oh, Holy Cross is pretty good. So, in the recent update, I explained it in the update video, but everything has based costs now. Based? Based costs now. Oh my god. So, every item is 50, and every weapon is 300. People were not using the items as much as I would have liked. Because there's quite a few, and there's going to be a lot more coming. Um, so, you can buy 6 items for each weapon that you can buy, which makes the items really valuable, especially if you're in a pinch. Um, oh, oh, hello. Hello. Nope. Good. 20? Okay, I thought that was 30. Oh, it's because I care for growth. Okay. Yeah, 20 makes more sense. Oh. Right, Jesus, that was a fast spot. Thank you. Uh, more, more food, but I don't need it. No, I'm just gonna leave that there. I need a gun, that's what I need. Okay, ho holding Q to set the hotkey to Q. Now if I tap Q, I can put down the cross. Panicking. The um, got the moon. Do not have much time left. I should be able to get this gun and get to the exit. And hopefully, stay at full health. Well, this is going better than the last one, so you know. Where the hell is this gun? Ah, you can't fit through there if I can't. This is just a waste of time. This is what happens in this game. You've got limited time, but you get distracted. Uh, this is a new gun that I added. It's not the best of guns. I don't have the money. God damn it. Alright, I need 10. I do want to get that. Come on, drop some money, please. Nope. Oh, okay, then. Cheers, game. So tempted to just hit the money debug key right now. Which I can do, but I won't. There you go. That's 10. See, the simplified money system is useful, because before that would have been randomized, and it might have given me like 7, it, I don't know, it was just bad, so, oh, I don't have the stamina to jump, thank you, good lord, no, does Holy Cross push death away, no it doesn't, maybe I should add that in, that would really help me out right now, okay, I've fucked it, I honestly thought this was going alright, Oh, there's money. I definitely can't get that. No, no. This gun's only good for massive hordes, and seeing as we're on stage one, it's pretty useless. Oh, okay, 15 health. Oh, I can't see my current health because I don't, can't afford that. That needs to be changed. Um, you know what? I am so damaged right now. I feel like this is going to be the most helpful. To just avoid everything. Okay, let's let's definitely drop that on the F hotkey. And we are gonna have to get to this fucking health, not worry about anything else. So that's what I'm gonna do. There's one. Nope, I am not fighting you or you. Uh I'm thinking about putting a blessing in which changes the jump key. Nope. 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 Changes the jump key to a kind of dash, but not in the direction you're facing. Alright, I've, uh, this is gonna work out very well, I think. Just tank them all into this enclosure and use this gun, which has so much spread to just smash them. See, so that's how you use this gun. It's not accurate at all. Oh god, I can't talk and play. Uh, we need another gun that's more accurate. You know what? Fuck up, please. So I feel like I'm gonna die before I run out of ammo, so I'm just gonna be spamming shots from now on. Uh, I really wish I had run a gunner or something. You know what? I wanna do a run where I get run a gunner and gunner runner. Because those two combined, you can, like, sprint the entire game. One thing I've been thinking about a lot, which, um, still undecided on, is stage one, instead of choosing a first blessing, you build your character. No, no. Uh, Uzi's not the worst gun. 
Right, what do I need to do? Death's showing up shortly. I don't really want to be in the shit again because I've got no health. So let's just go to the next stage, even though we're woefully unprepared. Oh, you know what? We can earn some money, as long as we stay safe, which we're definitely not. Anytime you go out into a really open area, you're going to want to spin around a fair bit to check your ring walls. Because more than likely there's going to be some zombies on your back. Uh, uh. Oh my god! What was I just talking about? Like I said, I can't hear the uh, this noise um, when the enemies show up. Good lord! If you want to be pro at the, at the game, turn the music off, blast the volume. You'll be able to hear every enemy indicator very clearly. I'm also probably going to add a blessing which acts as like a radar, but I don't know, blah blah blah. I've got a lot of plans and ideas for this. I don't know if I should be talking about them because it's probably quite boring. You know what, I'll do like a stupid run so I can talk about stuff. Uh, let's just re-roll everything. Yes, because I'd like that sprint. Uh, stupid Ryan, let's just drop this gun and see what we get. Oh, hell yeah. That was very fucking lucky. So this should restore my sprint. And it has. I don't need that. I'm not even going to look at the minimap this run, because I want to talk about stuff. Uh, do 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 do. Next enemy I'm going to add, probably going to be the Shadow Men. Basically, like the zombies, they'll just run at you. But they'll run fast, and when they get close to you, they'll slow down. So, they'll always be close to you, but they won't actually attack and hit you. And when you kill them, they will explode into a bunch of uh, bullets, which will be random. Like, the direction they come out at will be randomized. So basically, when you kill them, you're going to have to keep your eyes peeled and uh, dodge. And the whole point behind that is, Usually, when the enemies all bunch up, you can just, you know, blast them with a ton of explosions or something. But the Shadow Men, you're going to want to be careful, because if there's a whole group and you just smash them with a nade, uh, well, you're going to have a hard time dodging. On later runs of the game, so the rifle absolutely wrecks. I need money so I can just get ammo for it because uh, I would like to keep this gun. So what was I talking about? What's some other interesting things that are coming? Uh, yes, I would like the shotgun. Oh, god damn it, I forgot I had to buy that. Uh, nope. See, the problem with this run is you haven't really been looking for money. But we are now. I heard one. There we go. Oh god, I'm miles away from the exit. That's fine, he's spawned behind me. Um, can't afford that. Oh, I'm definitely going to put in some kind of blessing, so if you can't afford something, you can pay in blood. Like, you can spend your health to get the eye. Oh shit. Durr. Not checking out my. Whatever, we're out of here. Um, um, do 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 do. Oh, I don't care, so let's just go random. Fog, meh. That really sucks considering I'm using the rifle, but oh well. Oakley doakley. Let's go. Oh shit. Need that ammo, man. I also need money. Don't want to fight him. I don't want to be out in the open. Oh god. Don't aggro that. Don't even. I'm pretty screwed here. Let's see what this item is. It's only 50. That's why we got into trouble, because I should have bought those three items last stage. Because they're so cheap. Or, gone and choose for me to get the money. No! Alright, this can be it. I can't talk and play, guys. Screw it, this can be not helpful at all. Unless the flame guy triggers it. Which he will. Nope, okay. Uh. New stuff. Oh, I'm definitely going to add some big tanky effects. Sweet. <laughs> Damn effects. 
more gore, more enemies. I want to put decals and stuff on these walls that are random, so, you know, like vines coming down here, maybe a dude that's like chained up, just blood scrawled on the walls, moss. The visuals need putting up, I've not really put any work into the visuals because I'm 100% focused on um, just making it fun. I don't know. There's going to be a lot of little details and stuff which are going to help with navigation I think, like, uh, I don't know, piles of skulls. Like, you know Doom, where you got the pike and like a dude's heads on it, corpses, even if it's just rocks or like... I want to put in little squirming maggots and snakes and spiders that are just sort of going about their business. I don't really care about putting stuff in the sky, because the reason the sky is clear... First of all, it makes it look kind of existential and trippy, which I think is cool. Uh, but also, it just means that your HUD and inventory is super easy to see, which I think is just more important. Because uh, if you're good at the game, unlike me, you can store 10 weapons and have two one hotkeys and it's to be honest it's a lot to take in uh these need to be made more clear i think i don't know i'm gonna have it so that if you're on the pause menu you can mouse over those or at the uh choose a blessing menu and um it will tell you what they are and what they do so if you forget you know i won't tell me like i don't want it to be any i've, I've played like road lights like um Paranormal activity, I think, and stuff, and they don't even tell you what the items do. And it's like, I can't be asked to play through the whole game and memorize what they'll do. Especially if I don't play it for a while and then come back to it. It's like, okay. You know. Uh. Oh, one more thing I'm putting in soon, which I think is going to be cool, is enemies are going to be able to have random modifiers, which will pop up sometimes. So, like, above their head will be. A shield and it means that that particular enemy's got twice as much health another thing is they're gonna be poison one so if you get damaged by that enemy you're gonna start dropping health like I don't know one HP a second or something and you're gonna have to get to a health pickup for an antidote which I think will I don't know just changes up your goals I don't want to make it too complicated but I do want to put a lot of depth in it uh, there's gonna be one called thief where if you get damaged by the enemy you lose money there's going to be one uh, gold brush, and if that modifier appears on enemy, every time you hurt them, they drop uh, 10 pounds. Yes, I'm in the UK. And so basically the idea behind that is, if it appears upon an enemy with a lot of health, then you're in the money. You're just going to want to use like a low damage weapon, like the pistol or maybe the knife, and hit them as many times as you can, because every time you hit them, they can be dropping 10 pounds until they're dead. I might even make it so you can use some healing items on enemies, so that if you do see a gold rush enemy, you can hit them a few times, then heal them up with like the medkit or something, and so you can just milk them for a lot of money. Uh, it's gone on for quite a while, people are probably super bored of this. Another feature I'm putting in for sure is uh, little pentagram areas where if you stand on it, it's going to hurt you for 10 HP, but it's, it's going to give you 10 pounds. Something really weird's happening. Oh, it's because my Xbox controllers had the analog sticks stuck down. Yeah, I've fixed controller input on the new update, but I. Even though controller sucks compared to mouse and keyboard, but you know. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see what items we get. You know what? Let's just debug this. Uh, I. Debug keys, give me some random stuffs. This is a new gun. This is nice to have on a hotkey. Bye bye. Slow motion! Oh shit. Slow motion actually really helps with this gun. To anticipate the slow ass bullet speed. I really like the sound of this. It's gonna be quite a while to get that sounding cool. You know what, this is really going on, I'm just talking a lot of shit, so I hope everyone's enjoying the game, you can expect more of these videos, updates, features, this hedge mage biome really sucks right now, and it's got this weird texture stretching, which will change. Uh, I don't know if everyone knows this, but the hedge maze is a flammable. Oh, and so is every enemy. I 
think I was thinking about changing this into a um, into a gun, like a sticky nade launcher, but I'm not really seeing that. That was weird. Look! Oh hell yeah, I think I just found another bug. I just took off money, didn't I? I'll have to reach out this video. That needs a fix. Not that anyone's gonna get a full invention in this game, this is so difficult. We'll see. Yeah, alright, 20 minutes, this is really going on. If you watch this whole video then, you need to find something better to do. <laughs> see ya later.